Sophisticated one-tunnel sand computer modeling have allowed modern card designers to achieve previously unattainable results in aerodynamic efficiency. Moreover, if artificial intelligence gets involved, we are getting the sleekest looking and nearly drag-free cars. In this video, we will cover these marvels of engineering that seamlessly pierce through the air and have absolutely stunning designs. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News for a regular dose of car content and let's start the motors. Hyundai Ioniq 6 Hyundai's new EV line adds the second model that is inspired by the Prophecy concept presented in 2020. To our surprise, the production-ready Ioniq 6 kept the overall swooping teardrop silhouette of the concept. The car's streamlined nose, low-position bumper, active air flaps at the front and full coverage of the underbody contribute to a low drag coefficient of 0.21. Underpinned by the same platform as the Ioniq 5, the sedan is likely to offer the same powertrain options. The base trims rely on a 168 horsepower single electric motor powering the rear axle, while the dual motor configuration should have 321 ponies. As for the electric endurance, it is expected to reach over 370 miles in the long range version that uses a 77.4 kWh battery pack. The flagship Ionic 6 will feature a 12 inch dual screen dashboard while the base model stack is yet to be specified. Volkswagen ID Aero The midsize sedan segment is still quite popular in Asia. So, expectedly, the presentation for the upcoming flagship model of the VW Group took place in China. The ID Aero will become the first ever global all electric sedan based on the MAB platform. The concept has a progressive, stylish, and aerodynamic design with a 0.23 drag coefficient, yet, it does not compromise in roominess. It embraces Volkswagen's signature IQ Light LED matrix headlights, rides on 22 inch turbine two tone wheels and has a high-gloss black roof. Both single and dual-motor all-wheel drive configurations of the ID Aero are in the works. The 77 kWh battery pack is expected to store 385 WLTP miles, and the model promises the maximum of digital connectivity and over-the-air update capability. Mercedes-Benz EQXX The EQXX concept is a masterpiece of efficiency from the Stuttgart's engineers. First, they used innovative and lightweight materials to create a teardrop body shape with a benchmark drag coefficient of 0.17. Second, the model's powertrain introduced the next-generation Axial Flux rear-wheel drive motor and a battery pack with yet unseen 7.5 miles per kWh density. The setup makes 204 horsepower, while the 100 kWh capacity allowed the EQXX coupe to beat the preliminary range expectation by 20%. On the test route from the German headquarters to Brixworth in the UK, this Mercedes has managed to cover 750 miles or 1200 km at an average speed of 52 mph. Additionally, the prototype introduced a roof-mounted array of 117 solar cells that can add 15 miles per day and a new generation 47-inch hyperscreen with 8K resolution. Lastly, Mercedes confirmed that the technology showcased in this concept will make it to the mass production models. Among them, we should also expect an AMG version of the four-door coupe that will trade some of the efficiency for high performance. Aptera Aptera took the first shot at revolutionizing the automotive world over a decade ago, but ultimately, they failed due to running out of money. In 2019, the company was reformed under the original leadership of Chris Anthony and Steve Fembro as Aptera Motors Corp. Since then, they secured additional funding, showed us the first prototype of the upcoming model, and even gathered some pre-orders. 
The revealed car looks like a flying saucer on three wheels, but at the same time it offers superior passenger safety, ensured by the Formula 1-inspired safety cell, advanced airbag and composite technologies. The aeroplane fuselage of the Aptera has a 0.13 drag coefficient and consumes only 100 watt-hour per mile. To cover all the possible scenarios of daily driving, the CV will be offered in front and all-wheel drive versions and for battery sizes, packing from 250 to 1000 miles on a charge. It also gets a huge solar array able to restore 40 miles per day. Currently, the company continues working on optimizing the car's aero profile and they should be showing us the Gamma production intent version of the model by the end of 2022. Before going any further, we need you to smash the like button. Take a moment and thanks. Let's proceed. Mercedes EQS Internal combustion S-Class has been the undisputed flagship of Mercedes for the past 50 years. But let's be honest, the futuristic EQS is destined to overtake the title. This electric newcomer abandons the typical sedan profile in favor of a liftback shape that has a 0.209 drag coefficient. The model gets three iterations – EQS 450 Plus, EQS 580 for Matic and AMG EQS 53. These are either rear-wheel single or all-wheel drive dual-motor EVs that return from 329 and all the way up to 762 horsepower when the boost settings are activated. 100 and 120 kWh batteries store from 350 to 422 miles of range. In the traditional luxury variant, the cabin is decorated with gorgeous leather seats with 10 massage programs, a 15-speaker Burmester audio, a responsive 12.8-inch infotainment with voice command, and a 12.3-inch digital cluster. In the AMG variant, the passengers are treated to the sporty bucket seats, carbon fiber inserts, AMG steering wheel, and surely the hyperscreen. Neo ET7 This spring, Neo has already started deliveries of the flagship ET7 sedan in China ahead of its expansion to the European markets. The car measures nearly 201 inches in length, has the class leading wheelbase of 118.5 inches, and rides on a smart air suspension with continuous damping and 4G dynamic control. Its bodywork was designed to maximize aerodynamics, so it achieves a 0.208 drag coefficient despite the prominent three-part sensor bay on the roof. Built on the NT 2.0 platform, the ET7 relies on a dual-motor all-wheel drive drivetrain with 653 horses, 627 pound-feet and 0 to 16 pH acceleration of 3.9 seconds. Three battery sizes are on offer, 75, 100 and 150 kWh, packing up to 440 real-world miles. NEO describes the cabin of the ET7 as spacious, refined and cozy. It blends together modern materials like renewable rattan from tropical rainforests, Nepal leather and a microfiber headliner. The technology package includes the second-generation digital cockpit with a 10.2-inch screen, Nomi Assistant and a 12.8-inch central infotainment. Lastly, the car offers the latest Neo Autonomous Driving that relies on 33 different sensors, including a LiDAR. Lucid Air Despite the flood of flagship electric sedans, the Air by Lucid Motors is still considered the next big thing that would challenge the reign of the Tesla Model S. Among the arguments to support this claim is the fact that the Air is the longest range EV in the business. Its aircraft-inspired design has a 0.21 drag coefficient, and the luxury interior is on a whole new level of tech lux. This dual-motor all-wheel drive limo is capable of producing 819 horses accelerating to 16 pH in 3 seconds and covering 516 miles in one trip. Its 112 kWh battery pack supports super-fast charging, so it can regain 300 miles in 20 minutes. Plus, each unit comes with 3 years of complementary charging by Electrify America. The Lucid Air sedan features Napa leather upholstery in 4 styles, has an all-glass roof and offers several smart screens, including a 34-inch curved 5K display. 
Finally, the Air is also expected to debut the next-generation driver assist system that relies on a high-resolution LiDAR and 32 different sensors. Mercedes-Benz EQE The playbook of the EQE was basically copied from the flagship EQS model with some reductions in the level of push and performance. This X-shaped sedan has an astonishing drag coefficient of 0.2 and comes in multiple configurations, including the AMG version with a striking Panamericana grille. The Mercedes EQE could be powered by a single or two permanent magnet motors coupled with a 96 kWh battery with up to 366 miles of range. Thrill seekers who will go for the highest spec to AMG EQE 53 for Matic Plus can expect the maximum yield of 667 horses, 738 pound feet, and 0 to 60 time of 3.2 seconds. The sedan gets an adaptive air suspension, can be equipped with rear wheel steering and optional carbon ceramic brakes. The interior of this Mercedes is the usual mixture of luxury materials and an impressive hyperscreen. Plus, in the AMG version, it is also trimmed with carbon elements and sporty mood lighting. How do you like these new trends in automotive design? Would you trade aerodynamics for sharper looks? I'll be waiting for you in the comment section, so join the discussion. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and smash the like button if you haven't already. We have got more informative car content, so follow the links on the screen. Remember, stand with Ukraine and may the torque be with you!